California dreaming about you. Hey guys, Simcolor here, and today we are going to learn how we can send a message on our WhatsApp clone app. And it will be really simple. All we need is to implement an edit text, a send button, and then just create a new ID for each and every single message. And I'm going to show you in the database how we are going to accomplish that. And uh, here we are. We are going to open up the chat. And as you can see, these two users, uh, one of them clicked on the other. And so they got a unique chat ID, as we did in the like two lessons ago. So what we are going to do is to get this ID and we are going to come in here, call a chat and then have the ID setting here. And below it, we'll have the message ID one with uh, the message. So whatever message you want, and it will also have a creator ID. So the ID, the creator ID and this is how we are going to do it. So we are going to push an ID inside of this um, child and it will contain each and every single message and they will be stored in order so we can easily get the messages out of it and display it in the recycler view that we created in the past lesson. Okay, so I'm going to delete. Mm, I'm going to keep this for a second actually and I'm going to come in here and this is where we left off in the last lesson. Um, now uh, we are going to, I'm going to clear this up and I'm going to go into the activity chat. Okay. And in here, I'm going to implement the edit text and it will be really easy. Okay. So now we have a, res a relative layout um, and all that we have to do is to create a linear layout below linear layouts. It will be match parent and wrap content for the height. The orientation will be horizontal because we'll have an edit text and beside it a button to send. Okay. And okay, so now let's do edit text and we'll place a width of zero dp and you'll understand why in a second the height will be match uh, wrap content. The ID will be message and let's just place an hint, a hint because that makes it a lot easier to see. So message and I made a mistake here because the ID needs the plus add wherever. Yeah, add plus ID. So message uh, hints. Oh, mm message i'm going to change the name of the recycler view to message list really quickly come in here message list okay because we can have can't have two ids that match obviously okay and now let's place a button and it will be again zero dp in the width and wrap content in the height okay and now uh, the reason why i did the width 0 dp is because we can set a weight which can be like a percentage of the space that it will, it will take in the view um, so this way we can have uh, like a layout like this and it looks good and we can control exactly how much of the screen space we want it to take okay so now let's set it to um, layout grab the, the layout gravity of this object so align parent bottom to true and it will simply push the object to the bottom and now let's say that we because we want the the recycler view to be above of this layout then we'll simply set an uh, an id an unique id in this linear layout so sends layouts and say that the recycler view is above the send layout. And as you can see, it will be pushed up top. Okay, now I'm going to set the ID for the button as well. So send, and that's it for now. The layout is done. I'm going to go into the chat activity for now. And yeah, let's simply start working on it. 
So um, the first thing that we need is obviously to, to get the, both the edit text and the button. So let's say uh, in here, button and send equals to find view by id r dot id dot send import the button and now simply say m send dot set on click listener new on click listener and we are going to say send message and this is a function that we'll create in a second close that up so it looks nice and tidy okay send message in here let's say private void send message okay and now we are going to grab the edit text so edit text and message equals to find the id r dot id dot message and i hope it is grabbing it okay it should be okay and we are going to say if m dot message dot get text dot to string dot is empty and we are going to say if not so uh, let's place this exclamation point in there um, then we can go ahead and try to save the message okay so um, we can try and do this but we arrive at a problem well we don't have the ID of the message that the user is currently on, of the chat that the user is currently on, because we didn't uh, move the variable in any way, shape or form. So we don't have access to it in here. OK, so how can we do that? Well, it is really simple. We are going to use something that uh, we can implement in an intent that will simply push an extra, which can be a variable, can be a, an object as well can be whatever you want and we'll receive it here so in order to to do that we are going to go into chat chat list adapter and this is where we are going to send it okay this is in this set on click listener of the layout which is uh, I, I actually have the okay I have this open so uh, whenever we click in here this on click listener will be called and this is where we are going to uh, call the chat activity and pass along the said variable, the chat ID. Okay, so let's open this up. It's a tiny bit bigger. Okay, and now let's do intent, intent equals to new intent. And now let's say v dot get context so that we can get the context that we are at the moment because i don't believe we yeah we didn't pass the context so we can do it this way and now let's say chat activity dot class okay and now we are going to get together a bundle of variables that we want to send with the intent so let's say bundle bundle equals to new bundle just that and now we simply grab this variable, come in here and say bundle.put string. And now we give a name for the, the bundle. The keyboard. Okay. Wait. Okay. Now we give the name for the bundle, which in this case will be chat ID, uh, comma, chat. And uh, actually, message list, what do we call it? Oh, we call it chat list. Okay, but it is capitalized and I don't want it to be capitalized, so I'm going to change that quickly. Okay, okay, okay. So, chat list dot get holder dot get adapter position. And there's an error because it should be declared final and that's what we are going to do we're going to come in here and say final 
get adapter position dot get chat ID. Okay, and now we simply start. Uh, we simply put the extras first. So intent dot put extras bundle, and we start the activity like we always do. But in this case, we simply have to say v dot get contacts dot start activity intent. Okay, so that's it. Now we start the activity and we pass along the the, the string uh, with the chat ID. But now we have to find a way to receive it in the chat activity part. So it is really simple. We are simply going to create a string in here, a global variable string chat ID. And in the onCreate method, we are simply going to say chat ID equals to get intent dot get extras dot get string and chat ID. Keep in mind that this key has to match the key that you passed the variable with exactly. It has to be capitalized just as it is, otherwise you won't be able to receive it in this uh, in this activity. Okay, but this is how you do it, and now we have the chat ID that we need. So let's simply create the database reference for this and say database reference new message e b equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child chat and now child chat id dot push okay so this will uh, as i said in the beginning of the lesson go into the chat <coughs> <coughs> then the chat ID and then it is going to push so it is going to go into chat chat ID and then it's going to push to create a new message okay as easy as that and now we are going to create a map so map new message map equals to new hash map import the map if you have to now grab new message map and say new message map dot put text and the text will be this message and message dot get text or to string obviously and I'll do the same but put the creator instead so creator and the creator will, will be Firebase of dot get instance dot get UID and I don't believe you need to string no you don't it all it already comes as a string yeah public string get UID okay and okay that's it now all that we have to do is grab the new message DB and say update children new message map and that's it now we are able to send a message so uh, i believe now it's the time to uh, run the app and uh, let's just do another thing which is to clear up the the edit text okay i was forgetting that so let's grab a message and say set text no and this will create clear up the edit text okay but apart from that it is done let's run the app and see if everything checks out Okay, so the app finished loading, and one thing that I forgot was to change this capitalized C to a non-capitalized C, and it was giving out an error because of that. But apart from that, it, everything is done. This was on the chat list adapter, the chat list. Okay, so now I'm going to jump in here and go oh, try to open up as much as I can our uh, database. I'm going to click on our chat. 
Okay, and as you can see, it matches this one. Click on this side as well, and I'm going to send a message. QWERTY, send it, and there we go. It appears here with the creator and the, the text uh, message. Okay, and if I send it through the other phone, AST, we are going to get uh, the, the other creator, and as you can see, the IDs match the creators. And it is created in the chat uh, ID, this chat ID. Okay, each message has, has an unique ID, so we are now easily able to get the messages out when we want it. But that will be for the next lesson. For this lesson, everything is done. Uh, in the next lesson, we'll learn how we can display the messages in our recycler view. But yeah, that's all for today. I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao!